the Padres, the Mets, the Blue Jays, Royals, and Astros are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five stacks for today? It is Monday, September 11th. We're talking about FanDuel, and we're doing it right after this. Hit that like button, by the way. And then click the link in the description of this video to sign up for the MLB Premium Weekly Pass. We still have a couple more weeks left of baseball. Come see what we've got behind the paywall. Maybe that prompts you to sign up for an NFL package. For baseball, we've got 50% off. Normally $18.95 a week, you get it for nine bucks and change. Projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, lineup generator, and the premium Discord. You get all of it for $9 and a couple cents. And if you hate it, cancel it anytime during that first week. All you're out is that nine bucks. First up at number five, we've got the Dodgers taking on Pedro Avila and the Padres. 5.3 run implied total for LA. This one's at home, so we're playing up power on both sides. 6% chance at top stack, 4% chance at top value. Mookie Betts looks fantastic at 4,400 with the triple MPE. The fact that you can slot him in at second or short is just absolutely massive. Freddie Freeman for 4,200, well worth that price tag. When LA, is, when the Dodgers are playing at home, they always look good because there's so much power at the top of this order and this park plays up power in such a big way. In at four, we have the Colorado Rockies taking on the Cubs. Jordan Wicks on the hill. 7% chance at top stack, 4% chance at top value. They have a 4.9 run implied total. That's not all that great for a Coors game, probably because Colorado's team in general, not very good. But there are some pieces that stand out. A $3,400 tow bar in the two hole looks good in this kind of situation. You don't need a catcher, so playing paying $3,200 for Elias Diaz isn't the best idea to me. Ryan McMahon, Nolan Jones, Montero all have MPEs. That should help the flexibility of Colorado. At three, we go to the Boston Red Sox. 8% chance at top stack, 6% chance at top value, taking on the Yankees and Clark Schmidt. Now, Schmidt's an average pitcher. This one's in Boston, but I think the Red Sox do look good here. Uh, Devers is 3,900. I think he deserves that price tag and is the best Red Sox. Justin Turner's first and third at 3,500. So if you don't want Devers, it's easy to put Turner in at third. If you don't want Tristan Casas, it's very easy to put Justin Turner in at first. You've got Trevor Story with the second base shortstop MPE. Fantastic flexibility there. There's lots to like for Boston. A little bit of upside, a little bit of value. And we're going to see that again at number two. And then it gets very different for number one. In at number two, we've got the Yanks. They're taking on the Red Sox. Cutter Crawford is pitching for Boston. 4.8 run implied total for New York, but these guys are just cheap. 8% chance at top stack, 12% chance at top value. LeMayhew, first, second, third, MPE 2,800. Perfect. I don't have to explain to you guys what Aaron Judge does when he goes out onto the field. Gleyber Torres, a $3,400 second baseman. Yes, Stanton looks good for the power upside. Triple MPE on Kiner Falefa and Oswaldo Peraza. They have three guys that can play three separate positions, and none of the prices for anybody outside of Judge are all that problematic. And it's not like Judge's pro price is problematic. It's just deserved. So lots of flexibility here for New York, and you see that in the value column. Twice as high, twice as likely to be a top value than any other team we've talked about. And then we get to the Cubs and nothing matters. 21% chance at top stack, 9% chance at top value. They're taking on the Rockies and Kyle Freeland. We're in cores, a 6.2 run implied total. This is just a completely different run environment, and that's what we're seeing in the data. Chris Morrell, triple MPE in the leadoff spot, 3,500. Best play on the Cubs, I think. Nico Herner, second short MPE. Maybe he's the best option you can get to. Incredible, incredible flexibility. Bellinger MPE, Madrigal MPE, Wisdom MPE. Jan Gomes is hitting seventh, 3,100. You don't need him on a day like today. You just want the top of the Cubs order, but honestly, you're gonna feel pretty good with any part of it that you get because this is the far and away top stack. You could add the Yankees and the Red Sox together. That's 16% top stack odds. That's still 5% short of the Cubs. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday, September 11th. DraftKings version, around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.